and y'all we are back with another wig tutorial here's a wig from mystique beauty hair yes she's looking crazy and all over the place but she is a body wave 22 or i believe 20 inch unit and i just kind of want to go in with some small customizations to put um a couple highlights two strips of highlights in the bang area that way when i style it you know you see that little color peekaboo of under that muzzle sucker <laughs> But yeah, so we just gonna part out those parts that I'm going to get ready to customize and color. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna be using the BW2 powder and a 30. I really could have did a 40 because I wanted it to come out lighter, y'all. But yeah, it still came out a really nice color. But I eventually went back in and lifted it, lifted it higher, and then I actually wound up turning this wig red, baby. So. Y'all stay tuned for it, okay? That's not going to be in this tutorial, but this tutorial is going to show you guys how to lift it, and then I'm going to show you it tone and things like that. So we're going to put it in the foil, y'all. I love foil because foil heated up faster. It, it lifts way faster. We're going to do that to both sides. I like to make sure it's a, a pretty a thick, runny type of consistency. I feel like it, it does better like that. But not like, okay, so in between thick and runny. Not like paste, though, if that makes sense, y'all. So this is the color we came out with. Super cute. Now we got to rinse that wig out, okay? We got to get to plucking, doing a little customization on that motherfucker. We're going to throw that wig on that ah, just like that, just like that. Y'all see that color peeking through there, though? Looking real cute. We're going to comb it over to the back, go crazy, pin that thing down. And we're going to thin out the hairline a little bit so it'll look a lot more natural. Look at that color. Oh, my God. So we plucking away. We plucking away. We plucking away. We plucking away. And we plucking away. Okay, and we plucking away. Pluck, 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 pluck. So then, y'all, after we continue plucking like this, we're going to do another layer back to add a little bit more, like to thin out the next layer back, if that makes sense. Because most hairlines, they get thinner, then they get thick. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we parting out that second part, and we're going to start plugging right there, too, just to add, like I said, a level. We want it to be thin, going into a little thicker, and then gradually getting into thick. Make sure y'all get that shade of hair out every time y'all get to pluck and look at that hair. Just look at it. So now we're going to go into the sides, y'all. This is the sides of the wig. We're going to do this on both sides, just thin out them sides a little bit. Same thing that you did to the front, but we're doing it to the sides. Oh, grr. I'm plucking so damn much. My damn hand caught a cramp, okay? Girl, I don't know what's going on. I feel like my hand cramping, Grandma. Okay. We're going to bring it back to the front a little bit. Get a little bit more up in there good. But y'all see that color poking through? That shit is cute, period. I ain't even gonna cap, y'all. I did not get the middle of this wig correct. My, my shit was all off, okay? So there we go. Now we're gonna blow dry that mug, okay? I like plucking it while it's wet, though, because it make it a lot easier to grip the hair strands and stuff like that. And I really like plucking on top of that white towel because that white towel shows you exactly where them knots at. So we're going to trim these ends a little bit, y'all. Trim them ends. I feel like every wig still need to be trimmed, especially if you're going to be coloring it and all that. But overall, I feel like every wig should get trimmed that way to have, it, have that nice full look. You don't want it to look all shabby and stuff like that. So I didn't have to trim much. Maybe like literally an eighth, not even an inch. So we use this serum, y'all, to give it that bounce, that shine, that good shit, feel me, that we like here to have. 
We're gonna put it all through the hair, y'all. We're gonna make our middle part, in which I thought was my middle part, but when I put this wig on, it wound up being a whole nother side of goddamn. Shoot, I did a horrible job, but that part was crickety hell when I tried to uh, install that wig. But y'all, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next video because the next video I'm posting is going to be me styling this wig. I would. I went with some crazy curls, some, you know, dramatic ass baby hairs, but I really loved it, y'all. This wig was very easy to work with. It didn't have no whole bunch of flyaways and stuff like that, but overall, the quality of this wig, I really, really enjoyed this wig. It was nice and full throughout, and it was very easy to work with. So I like to flat iron, I mean, press, Press all the hair going back while I'm installing my new wigs. That way I can get a nice clean cut and look of what I'm trying to do. Um, and then I like to bring out my baby hairs later on, y'all. But of course, if it's a wig that I customize for someone. <laughs> excuse my babies in a bit. If it's a wig that I customize for someone, then I lay the baby hairs, of course. For them or whatnot. So now we about to get the curl in this sucker, okay? I wanted some big bombshell curls. I wanted it to be loose. I wanted it to fall real pretty when I install it. Um, I want that bombshell look. So that's why I went with a one and a half. I think this is a one and one fourth inch um, curler that I got from Walmart. It's the Infinity something iridescent. I really, really like this curler. It works really good. Um, I can have that linked in the description for y'all. And for my uh, blow dryer, I always use the red uh, handleless dryer. That's my favorite. That shit dries your hair so good. But yeah, y'all. So stay tuned for these curls, baby. Uh, it's the wrist work for me, okay? It's that wrist work for me. That's what give you the carpal tunnel right there, the wrist work. Click, 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 click. Click, a clickety click. Just think about doing this all day, y'all. I used to do this all day long. Like, oh my God, click, click, click all day long. My wrist didn't look it. I'm gonna smack you if you click me one more time, okay? So y'all, these curls are so pretty. Um. When I got to curling them out, they were amazing. So I just kind of wanted to show y'all how I do them. But if y'all want a full tutorial on how I do my curls, let me know. And I'll be sure to give it to y'all. But yeah, bitch, look at what we got. Oh. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe and get ready for the next video to see the results. Okay?